All right, last one, guys. The uh, practice exercise from 10.5 on page 405, the combined gas loss stuff, so the second one. A large natural gas storage tank is arranged so the pressure is maintained at 2.20 atmospheres. On a cold day in December, when the temperature is negative 15 degrees Celsius, 4 degrees Fahrenheit, the volume of gas in the tank is 3.25 times 10 to the third meters cubed. What is the volume of the same quantity of gas on a warm July day when the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius, 88 degrees Fahrenheit? So, okay, we have to look at this. We've got a pressure of 2.25. 2.20 atmospheres, right? Um, on a cold day in December, the temperature, so we got a temperature of negative 15 degrees Celsius, which is uh, see. that comes out to be 258K. Right. Um, the volume of the gas in the tank is 3.25 times 10 to the third meters cubed. What is the volume of the same quantity of gas? So it wants to know a volume. All right, so, so you're going to have V1 and then we're looking for V2. What is the volume of the same quantity of gas? So that means our quantity, our, our number of moles doesn't change. We didn't have a moles before, but it doesn't change. On a warm July day, when the temperature is, so we've got T2, 31 degrees Celsius, which comes out to be uh, what is that? 3... Oh, four. Okay. So, um, so if we look, okay, uh, so this would be T1 up here. So they didn't give us another pressure. So if we look back and see what it says here, a large natural gas storage tank is arranged so that the pressure is maintained at. So that means the pressure stays constant. So we actually don't need that one. So again, if we start with, um, you know, if we start with the concept of P1, V1 over N1, T1 equals P2, V2 over N2, T2, and we take out or can't or, or get rid of things that don't change. So the pressure stays the same on both. So we don't need, we don't need to put the pressure in or consider it. Um, the temperature changes, the volume changes, the number of moles do not. So our equation comes out being V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Okay, now we're just going to plug our stuff in. So V1 is 3.25 times... 10 to the third meters cubed over T1, which is 258K equals, uh, we don't know our V2, over T2, which is 304K. Okay, we just solve. So multiply 3.25 times 10 to the third times 304 divided by 258. And this kicks us out. 3,008, uh, so three significant figures, so 3,830 uh, cubic meters, or if you're doing a scientific notation, it would be 3.83 times 10 to the third meters cubed. Either way. And that's all there is to it. All right, let me know if you guys have questions or need help on anything.